Hi, my name is Bremley Lingdo, reporting live from Umyam Lake in my hometown Shillong in the state of Meghalaya, Northeast India. I bring you greetings from the Eastern Himalayan foothills as we celebrate the United Nations International Youth Day 2020. This is a call to action for all the young people around the world who are fighting climate change, who are facing difficulties in the backdrop of this COVID-19 pandemic. I salute you guys for the work that you're doing and I want you to keep the faith and stay focused on the projects that you're doing and we want to engage you in the green recovery programs that we want to roll out from EcoFriend World. Hi, I'm Naomi Bapur Khabar. I'm 24 years old from Meghalaya, also known as the Abode of Clouds in Northeast India. And I'm an outdoor enthusiast and student. That means I spend a lot of time outdoors and with nature. For outdoor enthusiasts and people directly dependent on nature's resources for their livelihood, COVID-19 has had a major impact because of the lockdowns and house arrest, therefore things coming to a crash. And it's not only the livelihood that, that has been affected, but people's physical, mental and emotional health, because the sense of freedom has been taken away abruptly. People rely on nature to a great extent, but before COVID-19, most of us, especially those who think they don't rely on nature directly, took that for granted. For me personally, nature is something I go to for healing, for finding happiness, and by getting involved in it through extreme sports, uh, learning and living with my friends in the villages who are directly dependent on it, creates a unique kind of connection and awareness of how beautiful, powerful, fragile, and yet nurturing nature can be. I am Simon and I met uh, Bremley through uh, London Green Drinks and I want to wish you a happy UN World Youth Day. Um, yeah, it's important, isn't it? If we don't look after the environment, that means the next generation suffering. So uh, we've got to do something about it as well as the inherent value of nature. I thought, I, thought, I thought of three things really. A lot of people buying cheap furniture from lots of high street furniture shops. Well, the wood's coming from China who get their wood from the rainforest by chopping the rainforest down so if you all bought fsc certified wood that'd be a great thing for the environment number two recycle and recycle properly a lot of people don't know how to recycle you got to rinse plastic out you got to rinse metal out before you recycle it that's important learn how to and thirdly well we probably all should fly a bit less unless you're flying to you know make the world better you know maybe if someone says let's fly away for the weekend Mm, well, maybe that's morally dubious when there's so much pollution and, and it causes climate change and, and poverty. Hi, my name is Festus. I grew up in the villages, the rural villages in Kenya, where I could take care of my father's sheep. While in the forest, I began connecting with nature, while enjoying wild fruits, seeing the butterflies, seeing the beautiful springs. When I grew up, I began seeking for opportunities to study nature and that is where my journey in forestry, agroforestry began. Over the past 15 years I have been involved in building resilience for communities working in various organizations in this part of the region. Along the way, along that journey, I founded Green Planet Initiative 2050. GPA 2050 is now working with more than 10,000 farmers aligned to one billion tree project where we are promoting regenerative agroforestry, building livelihood and resilience for these communities and replicating nature-based solutions to cushion communities from the aftershocks of climate change. <laughs> My dream for the world is for humanity to evolve way beyond our limitations 
So if we can truly understand one another and develop an empathy, then there is progress. And with progress, we can truly change the world. Um, since COVID, my life has changed significantly because I've had to shift my focus in other areas and really look inside myself and think about what's really important, as everyone has done. As an explorer, traveling around the world to remote locations, living with indigenous tribes has made me see the world in a different way through so many different eyes. My vision for the state of Meghalaya as well as for all indigenous uh, people, especially the youth, is to be more uh, involved for the cause of the environment, to participate a lot more in our efforts towards conservation, and at the same time also have fun uh, for the cause of uh, fighting for Mother Nature, so that uh, in this pursuit we can all achieve the, uh, the, the goals of the Sustainable Development Goals, especially the 17th goal. This song is a protest song and it's basically about how um, we humans are destroying our planet. I am a big believer that we are, you know, black and white, we are fire and water and earth and wind and we are all these elements, you know, that can complement each other. We are working with uh, these two characters, the white that represents the tranquility, the goodness, uh, the light and, and the black one that represents darkness and aggressiveness and uh, maybe passion in a different way and it's all about balance and, and how um, we can bring balance into our lives and then immediately we can bring balance into uh, Mother Nature. This is our home, this is our home, what is the new goal?